What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So what you are seeing here is my Apple Watch Series 6 and this is assistive touch that came to the Apple Watch with watchOS 8 in action. So what I'm doing, I'm actually pinching. So there's a wide range of features and function that you can do. And you can see how I'm basically controlling my Apple Watch. I'm just accessing the motion pointer. And as you can see, I am controlling my Apple Watch single-handedly and I can move like a cursor on the screen and so on. So this is what I mean by assistive touch for the Apple Watch. And basically I'm going to be showing you or telling you what is required for you to be able to use this assistive touch and also why perhaps you are not seeing this feature on your Apple Watch. So how you turn it off, just go into the settings and go to accessibility. And then if you go to where it says assistive touch, you have assistive touch there. So turn it on and you'll be able to use this assistive touch feature you can use like functions such as pinching or clenching to be able to select or move around now that is how you use it in simple terms now if you are not seeing this uh, feature and you want to be able to use it i would like to give you some tips or hints that basically tell us that all the series or versions of the apple watch will be able to get this function now on my iPhone that you are seeing here, I basically did some research when it comes to uh, the official Apple page and what they told us about this assistive touch feature. So you can see assistive touch for Apple Watch and Apple basically said using built-in motion sensors like the gyroscope and accelerometer along with optical heart rate sensors and on-device machine running, Apple Watch can detect subtle differences in muscle movements and tandem activity, which lets users navigate navigate a cursor on the display through a series of hand gestures like pinching or clenching. So we got three things that Apple mentioned or specified when it comes to this advanced assistive touch. And the first one that they mentioned is that you need motion sensors in your Apple Watch. And the two motion sensors that they mentioned are the gyroscope and the accelerometer. So what the gyroscope does is that it measures device orientation on your Apple Watch according to the Earth's gravitational force or pull. So it's able to detect whether your watch is leaning this way or leaning that way or leaning this way. So just device orientation, that's what the gyroscope does. And the accelerometer basically does what its name implies. It measures device speed how fast your your risk is moving or how slow you know your risk is slowing down so that's how you are able to use the motion pointer on your device by doing you know movements like this so it's able to detect how you are leaning by using the gyroscope and it's able to detect the speed at which it's supposed to move the cursor by using the accelerometer to see how fast your risk is moving and the second thing that Apple mentioned that you need is optical heart rate sensor so if you want to know whether you're how your apple watch has an optical heart rate sensor if you have this application that you see here it's called heart rate app and it basically shows your heart rate every five seconds so just give it some time and you see my heart rate so that's my current heart rate and basically whenever this application is open you can see that there it has this green light underneath i'm not sure if you can see the best view there but you can see that whenever this heart rate sensor is open then it's basically doing this uh, heart rate monitoring or reading and what this heart rate sensor does it actually uses a green light or photo cells to be able to detect your heart rate it gives you an estimate and the reason why it uses a green light is because blood appears to be red because it actually reflects red light in actual sense blood absorbs 
green lights so they are able to give you the readings of your heart rate from the amount of a uh, light that has been absorbed the amount of green light that has been absorbed by your blood and then they will be able to give you an estimate so that is the heart rate monitor and it's an optical heart rate monitor that uses the green sensor that your apple watch basically has so that's the second requirement an optical heart rate monitor and this is not exactly the same as ecg because the ecg app this is the ecg app how it looks and the ecg app basically means electrocardiogram and the difference between the heart rate monitor and the ecg app is that the ecg app uses like electric pulses while the heart rate monitor uses the green light that we saw so you can see when you have the ecg app open you don't actually have a green light open but the ecg uses electric impulses and you complete the circuit there's like a, a contact that you make with your apple watch underneath and the second contact you make with the ecgs with your finger when you press it on the crown like this and it will be able to show you your ecg reading ecg is more precise and it actually updates every second as you can see so ecg is like advanced heart rate monitor but it's not a requirement as apple mentioned that you all you need is like the heart rate monitor optical heart rate monitor so if your apple watch has this then it meets the second requirement and the third requirement that apple mentioned is on device machine learning now they didn't really specify what they meant by that or which chip they are going to be limiting this to so i believe as long as your apple watch meets the first two requirements you have motion sensors and you have optical heart rate sensor then you'll be able to get this assistive touch for apple watch and we know that different series of versions of the apple watch are going to get this in the future because if you go into the tips app this yellow app that you see there and you go to basically where it says what's new and you go all the way to the right to tip number six whether you have a series six or a series five and i believe a series four you'll be able to see assistive touch turn on assistive touch use gestures like clenching and pinching to control your apple watch so if you are seeing this screen then most probably in the future you're going to be able to use this assistive touch on the older series of your apple watch you have to be on watch os 8 or newer but at this time apple hasn't really pushed this feature out you can see for me here if i go to the about this section you can see that i'm actually on watch os 8.1 and you can see my watch model this is the series 6 so that's what basically tells us that more models are going to get this feature if you see this in your tips app then most probably in future apple is going to push this out as an over the air update and also just make sure you have the heart rate app or if you want to use your iphone to monitor this just go into your iphone and go into your health app and go to browse and go to where it says vital and if you have heart rate then it means that the apple watch series that you are using is basically giving you that heart rate reading every five seconds so that's how you tell whether your apple watch is going to receive these advanced assistive touch features for the apple watch i know i tried to make this as detailed as possible so if it's your first time finding or watching one of halfman half tech videos here at halfman half tech i do cover a wide range of apple content like apple watch tips and tricks watch away software updates and so on so if you want to stay up to date with such information then a sub to the channel would be a appreciated that's about it for me when it comes to this assistive touch feature let me know whether you're going to be you know updating to like watch os 8.0.1 when it adds this assistive touch for older apple watch series and maybe on watch os 8.2 since 8.1 some models aren't getting this i believe apple is going to push this to devices that meet the requirements in the future some features this is not the first time we are seeing this where some features aren't available on all devices and in the future or 
after some time with an over-the-air update, they add features like this to an older series or to particular versions of Apple devices that would have been left out. Now, other than that, that's about it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about this video and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.